everybody doing? Thanks for joining me and welcome back to another segment of my what I'm liking and not so much. So if you guys are interested in hearing what I'm liking so far and what I'm maybe not liking, then stay tuned. All right, so let's get into hair care. Do have some hair care, of course. I try all kinds of hair care products. I'm hair junkie, what can I say? As much as I am a makeup junkie. Uh, this company here called uh, Joyaco, I believe that's how you pronounce them, uh, Joyaco, um, they had contact me, contacted me and said about sending um, some products out or a product out to give a try. Um, and, you know, of course, sure, I am willing to try a product out just to see for myself you know, if it's something that's work works for me and let you guys know or, you know. Um, so they had sent me a box which had uh, this product here that had the K-Pack Color Therapy Luster Lock Instant Shine and Repair Treatment. So it is a deep treatment, uh, like hair mask kind of thing. And it comes in a nice tube like this. I believe there's 4.7 fluid ounces. Um, I really, really, really liked this a lot. I felt like it really softened my hair. Um, it's one of them conditioners like right away, you know it's gonna work. Like it, like it really, you can feel, you can tell it's gonna soften your hair. And afterwards, my hair did look nice and shiny, more healthy looking and everything. Cause my hair has been lacking, but I need to get my hair cut, which I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. Let's say on here that it has, and I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this correctly or not. Uh, it's with Manichetti, M-A-N-K-E-T-T-I oil. It says it's a bio-advanced peptide complex. This stuff smells amazing on top of it all. Oh my goodness. It smells very like fresh and clean, like a really fresh and clean smell. It's really, really nice. Um, I did notice on Alta the Joyco products are on sale right now. So thank you, Joyco. I will check into your products. Another hair care product that I kind of was liking. Um, this again was sent to me by OGX. Um, they had sent me several different things um, along the way here and here and there, like some PR kind of stuff. And this was in there. It was called the Healing Plus Vitamin E Penetrating Oil. Um, it helps to smooth the surface of the hair while penetrating moisture helps increase strength and elasticity uh, used daily for dramatically improved split ends and frizziness. So they come in them cute little bottles like this. It's the vitamin E. I like a lot of hair oils and as you know, um, my, the vitamin B, B5 from them. It's in a spray bottle. I really like that a lot. That is still my favorite by far. Um, the only thing I do wish is kind of like the vitamin B5. It was in a spray. I wish this was in a spray or a pump because when you dispense it out through here, you can kind of sometimes get a little too much. So I kind of wish it was in more of something like that. Um, and like it, it says that it improves the split ends and frizziness which that's what I've been using it for because I've been noticing that a lot because I need my hair cut, like I said. My hair needs cut. Let's just face it. Let's just face it. Okay. Uh, sadly, do I have all my products here? Yes. Sadly, uh, not so much. I wanted to like this because I love the got to be uh, curl line, like the curl this is the got to be kinkier. I love the curl cream. I love the mousse. They are like probably uh, second best for me in a curl cream and curl mousse uh, compared to like uh, Jane Carter and that. And this one is the double curling power gloss and define curling spray gel. Okay. And um, I really wanted to like this. I love the smell. It has like a watermelon smell to me. You know, all these got to be kinkier. I don't know if all their products do, but I really wanted to like this product because I thought, oh yeah, this will be, this will work great. It made my hair feel a little more sticky, crunchy kind of a feeling. Um, so, and I don't really like that too much. I mean, it also kind of felt more knotted up after a while then too. So I really wanted to like it because I love the got to be line. Um, and that's it from that Schwarzkopf. Um, I know they have new stuff out. 
So sadly, didn't like it, not so much. Made me sad, but what are you going to do? Okay, for the face, now onto the face and everything. I had purchased this before when me, me husband, me husband, <laughs> my husband and I, when we were in Atlantic City, and we went to Blue Mercury. If you're ever in Atlantic City, um, go in the Tropicana. There's like a Blue Mercury store in there. Um, it has high end stuff and it can be a little bit pricey, but you know, Mario Badescu's in there, so you can find some stuff that's a little decent, reasonable, and everything. And some Bliss stuff. This is Bliss. Their stuff sometimes can be not too bad, you know. Um, this is the Fabulous Foaming Face Wash 2 in 1 Cleansing cleanser and exfoliator. It's with rose hips, chamomile, and passion flower. That's it right there. Comes in a nice pump. Oh my goodness, I love, love, love this this stuff. I do. I would have to say it's another one of my favorite cleansers along with Mario Badescu, the orange cleanser. The scent, I love. If you were in Bath and Body Works and you remember the plumeria, is that how you say it? Scent. That's what this reminds has that scent to it. I'm guessing it's probably the passion flower. So oh love the smell of this stuff. And yeah, I would repurchase this over and over. This is one of them things I probably would repurchase over and over. It's been a while since I repurchased it, so it was due time. Speaking of Bath and Body Works, I have another one of my little body sprays here. This is the Gardenia and Fresh Rain one. Gardenia and Fresh Rain. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, make sure I don't spray too much because my cat's here and he, he freaks, he runs. But yeah, that smells really nice. I like the other one a little bit better, Be Beautiful. Is that what it was? Yeah, Be Beautiful. But this one smells really nice. It is a nice, fresh fresh scent, very fresh scent. Um, and if you like gardenia, you'll probably like it. So yeah, I just get the little ones because sometimes I don't go through the whole big, big one. On to makeup. The two eyeshadows here, they're from Makeup Geek, as you can see there. One is the creme brulee shade that I used in my look recently. And it's just, a, it's a really good shade just to put in the um, crease area and use as a transition shade. There it is there. It's like one of them perfect shades that work there. And then one of my favorites for there and to work in the crease and transition. Oh, love this one. It's Cupcake. I love this, this one here, Cupcake. It's really, really pretty. It's like a in the mauve family. Almost looks like the color mauve in the um, Lorac. Well, the Lorac Pro, the first one, maybe? Right there. Yeah, I like that shade. Really works really nice in that crease area. I actually have those two mixed in with um, Perfect Pink from MAC in the middle. I have Simply Marlena. I use, like, mostly all Makeup Geek eyeshadows and then one MAC eyeshadow, the Perfect Pink one. Speaking of eyeshadows, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this or not because I hear some people it's like a hit and miss. Um, but I figured I'd give them a try because it was like $2.99, $3.99. And it's from the company called Essence. And of course, um, this is all about nude eyeshadow. And they look pretty nice. I thought, you know, I'm going to give these a try. I actually had these on my eyes on my last uh, What I'm Liking and Not So Much video, this these are what I had on my eyes, is this palette here, the All About uh, Nude. They have a chocolate one. Um, the only shade I had a problem with, I think, was the one in the middle, this pink in the middle. It's like a pink shade. I used it as the base on my eye and kind of just did that. But all the other ones didn't do too bad. Um, like there's this one in the front here that's kind of a you know, pretty shade there. Um, the one on the end, which is like, oh my goodness, it's like a taupey. It's gorgeous. This one I fell in love with, though. That's like a beautiful, beautiful taupey, taupey shade. There, it's not showing. It's 
kind of a hit and miss with these, really, I guess. I, you know, it, it's, it's, it can be a hit and miss. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's like the best palette. Like, um, they worked on the eyes really nice. Sometimes like when you swatch something, like from what I've learned from people, when it is true is you can swatch it and it might not look so great when you're swatching it. Uh, but when you put it on your eyes, it might work exceptionally well. And then vice versa, it might swipe great on your arm, you know, on your hands and everything. But once you put it on your eyes, it might be mm, so so um another product is my revlon nearly naked powder this is one of my favorite powders like a setting powder in a drugstore because it's not one that's really cakey like it doesn't cake on it does feel finely milled it's very smooth very soft um it, it's just it's really soft it it's a really nice face powder I would highly recommend the Rev Revlon Nearly Naked uh, for us more mature ladies because it seems to work really good. It doesn't settle in my fine lines and I just dab it along. I don't, you know, I just dab it along and everything. This one here, uh, hey, I hate to say the um, not, not liking so much. I really hate to say that because I really wanted to like this. And I did put it in my video when I was doing my, I think my haul video or something. It's the um, Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. <sighs> Honestly, I mean, this one's in, it's Beige Luster is what it is, okay? And honestly, you barely even see it. Like, as I swatch it on here, like, you barely even see it anyway. Like you do see it like that, okay? Um, to see it in person would be better, I would say, because then you'd see what I'm seeing. Um, I mean, you can kind of see it, um, but just to wear it on its own, I don't think, I don't think it's worth it. Um, I used it as my eye base, so I'd probably put this on first, and then probably put on this um, this real pretty taupey shade that's in this palette, the uh, All About Nudes palette. I would put those two together probably, you know, like kind of to intensify it a little bit more and bring it out more. But honestly, I don't think these are going to be worth it. From what I've seen other people swatching and just the reviews and everything, um, I don't think I'll be picking up anymore. So I hate to say it, but I'm not really liking it so much for a base, eh, but I, I, I don't think it's worth it. Put it that way. Okay, lippies, lips, lips, lips. I've been using my sugar, fresh sugar, which goodness, mine's like coming off. The, the wording is kind of coming off there. I forget what mine's even in, to be honest. I think mine's in rose or something, but <laughs> you can see it's like barely even hanging. Um, these are really nice. I use this at night a lot of times or just at, throughout the day just to give my lips a little extra moisture. And so I've been pulling this out a lot lately. Um, they are kind of pricey, but I think they're worth it because you don't want to spend uh, a little less money and put something on your lips to help keep them hydrated and you have to keep reapplying, reapplying. This don't find, find that. If I put this on, it lasts mostly the whole whole day unless I eat, you know, like you eat or something, but yeah. This has to be one of my favorite nudes, and it's the, um, what are these? <laughs> the Revlon Color Burst Them Lip Balms, Lip Balm Stains. This one's in uh, number 1001 Honey. This is such a perfect shade that's a perfect nude shade, just to slap on real quick and you know, um, also very hydrating. If you don't like the mint kind of scent smell, that's what these do have. So you probably wouldn't like that part of it, but I really, I've, these are probably my favorite. These are probably my favorite lip crayons, actually the Revlon ones. They're probably my favorites. And lastly, um, I have my little mini, like this is the NARS orgasm, isn't it? Yes. This is the orgasm uh, lip gloss, the little mini lip gloss. I got this in that kit that I was pulling all my stuff out that I got my summer kit like last year. There was a summer kit where you got like an eyeliner and the chocolate soleil bronzer and you got this little mini lip gloss, which those are awesome to get, you know. Um, 
but yes, yeah, so I've been putting this either on top of stuff or wearing it by itself. Beautiful, beautiful shade right there. It is very pigmented too. Really, really pretty. Has that really pretty iridescence and everything. All right, beauties, that's everything. That's what I'm liking. And there was the not so much as in there um, as you've seen, but I think it's, it's, I enjoy doing this because, um, you know, we're not going to like every single thing, you know, um, that we're just not, I mean, you know, you have some things you try and you love it. Some things you just like, and then some things it's just, meh, and then some things it's like a wah, wah. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you for those who have been joining me for so long. I've been with me from the very get go. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would help me out so much. And I really appreciate that. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. You can join me each week and I would so love to have you. And as always, babies, just please remember, please, please remember, be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, y'all take care. Bye. We'll see you then. Bye. I love you all. Bye-bye.